Hello, this is Rick from MathX, and today we'll be doing number 24 from the AMC 10B, or number 21 from the AMC 12B of this year, 2020. Now this problem is hard for multiple reasons. First, it's a number 24, and historically, number 24s have been harder than most of the other problems. And second off, this problem has a floor function, and that's not commonly used notation for most for most math students. So these two factors make this problem look really intimidating at first. In fact, most of the solutions try to avoid as much of this equation as possible by having you graph it out and checking which integers work like that. But today, my solution is actually using the equation and several inequalities. And using these, we'll solve these for all the positive integers. Without further ado, let's get into the problem. How many positive integers n satisfy n plus 1000 over 70 is equal to the floor function of the square root of n, where the floor is the greatest integer not exceeding x. So to start with, I like to replace this floor function with something more appealing, as it's kind of hard to deal with anything in floor function. There's a cool trick in which we can reduce anything as a floor function in terms of the number itself minus its fractional component. For instance, the floor of x, I'm going to do it for this for just for the sake of simplicity, is equal to x itself minus the fractional part of x. So then, if we rewrite this equation like this, we get n plus 1000 over 70 is equal to root n minus the fractional component of root n. And this works because the floor function of any value is just taking the integer value of that number itself. So let's say in this case, we're trying to find the floor of 3.76. We only take the uh, integer value in that case. So in this case, the floor of 3.76 would be 3. So we can do the same thing by by subtracting the fraction part of it out of the original number. So if x is 3.76, then the fractional or decimal part the fractional part of this is going to be 0.76, giving us a floor of 3. So here I just did the same thing, expressing the floor function of root n as root n minus the fractional component of root n. From there, I feel like we should get all our normal stuff on one side and keep this weird fractional component on the other side. So we can bring this root n to the other side. Then in order to express this over our common denominator, we must express this root n as 70 root n over 70. And then we can add it to this equation. Okay, so now we have a fractional component on the right side and we have this normal this normal variable component on the left hand side so um in order to in order to get somewhere with this we got we must remember the fractional component of root n falls in between a range greater than or equal to zero but less than one so then we realize that this entire term can be simplified as having a minimum value of zero, but it also has to be less than one. So then, once we multiply the 70 by both sides, we see that n plus 1000 
minus 70 root n must be greater or equal to when this value is zero. So zero, because ne negative 70 times zero is zero. But it also must be less than if this fractional component is one. So it must be less than one times negative 70, which is negative 70. To solve for both of these equations, we must express root n as x and then rearrange the terms further. So this first one can be written as x squared minus 70x plus 100 is greater than or equal to 0. And then the second one can be written as x squared minus 70 x plus 100 is less than negative 70. So to solve for both of these equations, we must factor both of these quadratics and find the values that work. So for the first one, This first equation, x squared minus 70x plus 1,000, can be factored quite easily and quite nicely into x minus 50 times x minus 20 is greater than or equal to 0. And then with this information, greater than or equal to the roots, we can easily express this as x is greater than equal to 20 but less than equal to 50. So then for this first equation we have a clean set of x which as we know x is root n. But the next equation is slightly harder because once we bring this negative 70 over to the other side we have an equation that can't cleanly factor. So I'll write it out again. So Applying the quadratic formula to this, which for those of you who don't know is negative b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Once we apply this formula to it, where a, b, and c are the coefficients of, the quadra of this quadratic, we get that the roots of this equation are 35 plus minus root 155. So knowing the roots and less than, we can safely say that from this equation, we get that x is less than 35 minus root 155. but x is greater than 35 plus root 155. So replacing this back in terms of n, we get that root n is greater than or equal to 20, but less then equal to 50 from our last equation. And then from this equation, we get root n is gr greater than 35 plus root 155, but it's less than 35 minus root 155. Now we're almost done with the problem. Approximating root 155 to 12, so I'm going to replace that with 12, we get that root n has to be less than 23 
but greater than 47. And so solving this, we see that root n could be 48, 49, or 50 in order for it to be greater than 47, but less than or equal to 50. But on the lower end of it, in order for it to be less than 23 while being greater than equal to 20, it must be 20, 21, or 22. So if we write out all these values, on the lower scale and 48 we see that there are six total answers and so there's six possible values for root n so if we go back to the original question if there's six possible values for root n then obviously there's six possible values for n. The answer to this question is six, which is c. The main idea to keep in mind in this problem is that abs that the floor function can be written as the normal number minus this fractional part. And then you can honestly get most of the way there just by using like middle school algebra. But as long as you remember this key fact, you can tackle a lot of problems like this.